Hey guys, Brock Shield here. Welcome to my first World of Warcraft video, starting off with my level 60 ding in Western Plague Lands. And there we go. Following this, it's time to respect to protection and pick up some new items. Perhaps the coolest item I could afford was the trinket, Uther Strength. So first of all, why did I make this tune? I made this tune to power level players through dungeons. For me, the secret about World of Warcraft is that it's not about World of Warcraft. It's actually about people. And this is a secret that all of you already know, but sometimes we lose sight of, all of us, myself included. I don't personally enjoy just farming gold just to farm gold, or getting items just to get items. I do enjoy raiding, I do enjoy PvP, and that's not to say I don't enjoy the rewards. But what I enjoy more than anything is forming relationships with people, and building friend friendships and relationships that can endure more than just items. So here we are in the Stockades dungeon, of course, and you can see I'm running a few members through this dungeon now. We've got four paladins, including myself, and a warlock. And so this was on the same day I dinged level 60, and I decided that I would go straight to running players through dungeons, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. So here in this group, you can see I'll round up all the mobs and bring them over to this area, and you'll see that I have a nice follow macro, and go ahead and start consecrating and AoEing them down. One thing I really like about this pull is that the Warlock, he starts off with Reign of Fire at times, but then you'll see that the Warlock Glum runs in and starts using Hellfire, which is nice because it brings a cool orange color to the floor when he does it eventually. And of course you see our other friendly paladins in the back uh, healing away. And this does make a difference. For a fresh level 60 like me, I of course don't have a single epic and I'm not in great gear whatsoever. So their healing and their contributions makes a big difference for me. So there's Glum, of course, using his Hellfire. And so the loot rules are pretty simple. Uh, I get all the loot, other than if they see an item they need, of course, which they can have. And other than that, that's that's really it. Um, so what, one thing I definitely want to touch on is that I am looking for a guild. I'm on the Bloodsail Buccaneer server. It's the role-playing server. I do enjoy role-playing at times, though. It's not too serious or anything. And really, I'm looking for a guild with a large amount of active players that would enjoy someone who power-leveled players through dungeons, as well as ran higher-level dungeons. As a protection paladin, I don't really believe, for me, that it's possible to raid, but at the same time, I'm open to trying. One thing that is very interesting for me looking at this is because my gear is so bad relative to a lot of players who have been playing their tune since the start of World of Warcraft, um, it's interesting because I can't pull as many mobs. And so for a little history of me on this tune, I created this tune on January 13th or 12th or something like that, just a month ago. I leveled it to 60 as I'm a decently fast leveler with a slash plate of about 6 days 8 hours. So after reaching level 60, I immediately started off on these videos. However, I bring that up because I don't have all the epics and all the set bonuses, etc., which makes farming players through dungeons or farming mobs yourself, as most people do, very simple. So for me, one thing I'm really excited for is I'm excited to see how that power creep happens for this character over time. Because right now, I what I found was when I would try and three-pull stockades, even with the group, I would go down. And so for that reason, it was better for everybody rather than to chance it, even if we succeeded on the big pull, just to five pull the dungeon. So Stockades, of course, is not the highest level dungeon, but it does go to show that there should be a significant power creep over time as I come back to this dungeon later. And so definitely, if you are somebody who's interested in being power leveled on Blood Cell Buccaneers, please reach out to me. My tune name is, of course, Brock Shield, and best to do is, if I'm offline, send me a message through the mail system. It's, of course, definitely a great mail system Blizzard created, and that's a great way to reach me, as I will read all of those. And if I am online, I will be looking to run players through dungeons, and not just stockades, because it's right in the city. For example, yesterday when I made this video, I also ran SM Cath, but I didn't record it at the time because I went solo thinking that I would just practice myself. 
So back to the secret of World of Warcraft, which is what I want to touch on in this first video. For me, the most fun I've ever had playing World of Warcraft, as many of you probably have as well, are the memories I have with people. So my history is I started World of Warcraft playing in 2007, playing Burning Crusade. The first tune I ever leveled was a human priest, which I leveled as holy foolishly because I was just a kid at the time. And I made it to about level 40 until some of my friends in the horde said, hey, why don't you come play with us in real life? And uh, ever since that, I switched over. I played a Blood Elf Paladin. I raided up until tier 5 in Burning Crusade. And from there in Wrath of the Lich King, I met some different friends in high school where I leveled an Undead Warlock and we raided uh, at that point as well. From there, I played World of Warcraft on and on, coming back in uh, Mists of Pandaria, where I leveled a Torn Paladin, uh, and raided, of course, there as well. And, and that's really the time period uh, through this whole story that is of the, the most interest to me, because uh, it was during all of this time when I was seeing that when I played with friends or I made friendships in the game, I enjoyed the game so much more than when I was just by myself chasing some goal I thought would make me happy or something like that. For example, on my Torn Paladin, I achieved Lore Master, and I found it to be a very hollow achievement, after which I stopped playing the account. I came back at a later time and, and continued playing, but I found the achievement in general to be quite hollow. What appealed to me more than that was spending time with people I enjoyed. I remember all of the friendships I've made through the game, and it's it's really a nice thing when you feel a sense of comfort and a happiness seeing and interacting with other people online that you are friends with. And the way I look at it, all of us, or most of us, I should say, have jobs in real life, we have other obligations, some of us might have family, etc. And that's, of course, our most important priority in life. World of Warcraft, though, doesn't have to be, for, uh, for me at least, I'll speak for myself here, World of Warcraft for me is an escape from reality, yes. But it doesn't have to be an escape from reality into isolation. This is a social game, as we all know, and that's one of the aspects I love about classic World of Warcraft. Not just are these players in the dungeon helping me, for example, I mentioned I really couldn't pull this consistently without them, but they're also giving me a happiness in that I don't personally care about losing coin split over just being able to spend time with friends in the game. And so that's really what I think this game is about and what I hope to push forwards into the future. So throughout the course of this video, you'll see our group members are t t you know, tending to stay back a bit more until I call them in. And that's definitely also something that's very important in these polls is a lot of times uh, the players will rush up because they don't want me to die. But unfortunately, what also happens is it prevents me from bubbling. Though what I did find is as the levels of the players increased, for example, when I went to SM Cath, uh, more of them trusted me that I can bubble and heal myself and, and take care of myself before calling on them for more aid. In terms of the gold split that I got at the end of this video, I would uh, imagine uh, I haven't got received all the sales yet as this was just done yesterday from the disenchanting. So I do disenchant and I hope also to switch over to engineering because I want better uh, equipment for tanking. So in terms of the whole gold from tonight, I expect it was probably around 100 gold, which really isn't as much gold as you can make, for example, if you just farm higher level mobs on a DPS character. And I say that not just because other people have done that, but because my first character actually playing this game, I played a Tauren warrior because I had never leveled a warrior before, and I was very interested to see if it really was as difficult as people said, and yes it was. It absolutely was. I mean, there were times when I played that character that uh, I would just face two mobs and die. Sometimes I would even face one mob and die, and it was an overall frustrating experience. And even at max level, what I just found from my, for myself is that I really didn't enjoy the warrior class. I had a v pretty good DPS as uh, at that time I was on a different server, not Blood Cell Buccaneers. I was on a different server with a good guild where I was getting uh, some loot, so my character was pretty strong. But what I found was that I wasn't very happy. Not just because I didn't like the class, but because it comes back to the secret of, of uh, World of Warcraft. is that it's not about World of Warcraft. It's about the people. And so while I did like the people, I also didn't enjoy 
being in the guild where it was all about just chasing loot, chasing bosses, how fast can we do this, how few people can we complete a raid with, for me it was about let's just get together and have a good time. We're on here and for most of us we have jobs in real life. For me it's about I don't want to stress myself out to chase a goal in the game. I want to spend time around people who are my friends, who we all want to be happy, and we just enjoy playing the game together. And so that was when I really knew that I was a paladin at heart. And so I said goodbye to the guild, wished everyone well, gave them all my money on that server, and and, and hopped over to creating Brock Shield here. And that is really where I am now. I feel happy, I feel at peace because I identify with my character. I have a clear plan, which is just let me make friendships, run other players through dungeons so that not only do I get gold, yes, but then they get uh, experience, of course, and we all get memories and relationships that are the best part of World of Warcraft. I still remember a paladin named Athrasai in Mists of Pandaria. He ran my Torn Paladin, he was a Blood Elf, he ran my Torn Paladin through Black Temple because there are certain boss mechanics there you cannot solo. And that was where I got my full tier 6 for transmog. These small experiences, you would say on paper, oh, Lore Master is such a better experience. But at the same time, I enjoyed talking with him, spending time with him so much, I remember it now five years later plus. Right? That's the beauty of World of Warcraft. It's not about the loot. It was never about that achievement. It was about, I remember Athrasai to this day. I remember all the friends I played in high school with when we would get together on lands when I had a horrible laptop then. It's so, you look back with the joy and that's what I love about this game and that's what I want to continue with this game. So going forwards, my goals are yes, to continue power leveling players through dungeons and different dungeons, not just stockades, of course, and also increase the, the gear on Brock Shield so that I can see if when I come back to these dungeons later, am I able to four pull them? Can I three pull them? Can Brock Shield get better? And so friends, I just want to let you know, thank you for your time watching this video. Of course, you can like, comment, subscribe. But again, this is about people. It's about friendships. And that's really what I want from this. I would love when I came online to message you guys and let's just have fun running dungeons. So with that said, light be with you and take care.